Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me this week. So this week I'm going to be talking about AI in education. In the last couple of months I've been delivering lots of different workshops with different schools on AI and how to use AI tools in teaching and learning. So if you're interested in hearing about my thoughts about AI in education, then please keep on watching. So this week, I'm going to be talking about AI and education. And what exactly is AI? AI is artificial intelligence. It was first coined by John McCarthy, who said that artificial intelligence is the science and engineering of making intelligent machines, especially intelligent computer programs. And I like to use Andrew Ng's definition of what AI is. He's an adjunct professor at Stanford and founder of deeplearning.ai. And he says that AI is a collection of different tools. So within that huge collection, there are different types of AI tools, one of them being generative AI. And generative AI at the moment is what many people are talking about, such as ChatGPT. And it's wonderful how we are beginning to see the power of generative AI in the use for teaching and learning, either for planning really exciting active learning engagements or just generally making your workflow a lot more efficient. So I recently purchased this book, AI in the Classroom. I'll put a link to the book below. And there is some really great advice and guidance in this book. And it's to do with giving prompts. So sometimes if we don't give enough specificity and detail in the prompt when we use any generative AI tool, you'll get an output that's actually quite shallow and meaningless and not useful. So in this book, The AI Classroom, they suggest using a framework which is called PREP. And PREP stands for prompt, R is role, E is be explicit, and P is parameters. So first of all, what is the actual prompt that you want to ge the generative AI to do? What's the role that you want it to take on? Be really explicit with the instructions and give it certain parameters. So let's take a look at a couple of examples. Here's an example of using the PrEP model uh, when it comes to a topic on living things for elementary school. I asked ChatGPT in this case, can you come up with active learning engagements about the different parts of a plant and what are their functions, provide examples. The role, imagine you are a plant scientist, share what you've learned about the parts of a plant and their functions. The explicit instructions I gave it were write a detailed description of each part of a plant, which includes the roots, stem, flowers, and the leaves, and explain what each part does. And the parameters were include at least three examples of plants and describe how their different parts help them survive and grow. So let's take a look at what actually ChatGPT came up with. And I was really specific and used the prep model to frame the output. Some of the great, active, exciting learning engagements ChatGPT came up with was a nature walk and plant parts hunt. So take children on a nature walk or in a park or garden, give them a checklist with pictures or drawings of part plants, and then ask them to find and match each one that they see, encourage them to observe different types of shapes, sizes. So there's your mathematics there and colors of the plant, discuss the functions. Or another suggestion it had was plant dissection exploration. Provide children with different parts of the plant, guide them through a plant dissection activity, focusing on one plant part. For example, start with the flowers and then use child safe tools like plastic knives or scissors and help them carefully dissect the plants. And then you can see that the suggestion is to encourage students to touch, smell and examine the different parts closely and just to discuss the different functions of the plant. So that's one example. Let's have a look at a secondary example of the prep model. So here's an example of a chemistry unit. Can you give me some exciting active learning experiences for the following topic? Explain the concept of chemical equilibrium, discussing the factors that influence equilibrium and how it can be shifted. That's the prompt. What's the role? What's the explicit instructions? And what are the parameters that you're going to be giving? So the role is your chemistry teacher exploring the concept to your students. And then to be explicit, I've got provide a clear explanation of chemical equilibrium, including the definition, the role of forward and reverse reactions, and the concept of equilibrium constant. And then you've got some other details there. The parameters that I put were provide relevant examples or demonstrations to illustrate the concept. So if I'm just going to move myself over so that you can actually see what uh, ChatGPT came up with, it's come up with hands-on explorations, 
It's come up with interactive demonstrations and it's also got group discussions and problem solving. So please feel free to pause the video here so that you can read some of the descriptions here. So basically, the output is only as good as your input. Using the PrEP model, and there are actually other frameworks that I'm going to be talking about in future weeks, but using the PrEP model, I found I've gotten really good outputs and really good ideas for lessons. Thank you so much for joining me this week, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.